Thank you for watching this quick video on adding a new employee. To start, first you want to navigate to employees, and then you want to select the add employee button in the upper right hand corner of the header. Then you want to state your new employee's name with a good phone number. If this employee is an advisor, they will get text messages when jobs have been approved or if they're a technician, they will get text messages when parts have arrived. If you have an employee that does not want to participate in text notifications, you can put a fake phone number there. Now, every employee will need a good email, whether personal or business, but they'll need it in order to have a profile within Techmetry. These are the only required fields that you're going to need so far. If you don't have an address, no worries. You can always capture it later. So we're going to hit continue. The next step is we need to choose the employee role and the salary. As far as the role, you have three choices. They could either be a shop admin, a service advisor, or a technician. This will only dictate what their permissions are going to start with. Every employee will have their own set of permissions and they can be changed for that particular employee. So in this case, we're going to say technician. Then we're going to decide what the payroll type is. Is this technician salary? Are they commission based with a flat rate or are they hourly? Let's say this technician's flat rate, meaning he's commissioned and he's making $25 a flat rate hour. If they are salary, it's going to break it down per 40 hours per week. And this technician is making $25 an hour at $52,000 a year. If they're an hourly employee, it's going to be the hourly rate. Let's keep them flat rate. Now beneath that, can perform work. If you uncheck this, this employee would have a read only. This is great for accountants, CPAs, folks that we don't want to create new repair orders or we don't want to see them in the list of technicians to be able to dispatch to. If your state requires your technicians to have a certification number, you can put it there. And at this point, you would hit save employees and it would look just like this. Let's take a look at Technician B. It would say Remo Williams. It's going to have a blue banner and our new employee is going to have 24 hours to create the password for their new profile. If for any reason they have not done it in 24 hours, you can come in here and give them another 24 hours. Now here also you cannot update the names. Once you've created them, only Technician B or only William, we, Remo Williams is in control of their own profile. The way that they can update it is they would select their own profile initials and then they go to my profile and update any information that they need. Beneath that you have the role and you have the permissions for that employee. That's it. You've added your new employee. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up and to share it with the rest of your team. Also, please subscribe to our YouTube channel if you would like to see more helpful videos for auto repair shops. Have a wonderful day.